Okay, guys, so I'm not gonna do the bell. I'm not gonna do this time. Fucking fucking bell. I have several great ideas for games I would love to run at my local uni. Except I'm too terrified of people bribating for not being Matt Mercer. Try to show a fully filled out consent of gaming PDF down my throat. Cancel me and being an uptight tabletop terrorist for spite, petty and just trying to be that guy or that girl gamer. Honestly, I would be worried about that in a uni. I would be like, too. especially unis today. I don't know about you guys, but like, I don't know. I hear too many horror stories. Yeah. Coming out of unis, you yeah. know what I mean? And I don't know. It seems to be a bleeding ground for this sort of mentality of, oh, if you're not Matt Mercer, you know, this is the thing. Like, you know, like having this. You guys need to be his players then. Yeah. <laughs> if I if I have to if I have to pretend to be Matt Mercer, you have to be just as good as his players, <laughs> the players. then. Eh? Like that, do you? Yeah. One of my players was bringing down the mood, not participating in roleplay, and was complaining the entire session. When I and a few more players confronted him about it, he started going on about how we're not appreciating him and shit like that. Well, while he didn't take any personal initiative to participate in the roleplay. Thankfully, my players kind of forced him into leaving the roleplay, and honestly, I'm very glad they did. This is the second time this exact same scenario repeated. The previous time this was happening, it destroyed the mood of the entire party and effectively ended the campaign. I'm very glad I didn't have to kick the guy out myself, but I'm kind of sad it came to this in the first place. And even more disappointed in myself for finding joy in getting rid of him. Uh, no, don't, don't find joy. Don't, no, don't, don't be don't. guilty for finding joy in getting rid of him. <laughs> Honestly. And saving your game, to be honest. Yeah, like, you know, like, I don't get this. Like, sometimes you do get this with people. And they just garn for the sake of garning. Garn and I've came across this with a few people. And they're very, just like... whiny people. I know. It's like, I mean... It's like, just fucking tuck up your balls and get fucking used to it, would you? Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't have time for people that are just garning for the sake of garning. I know. And I think some people actually do just enjoy doing it for the sake of yeah, it a lot of the time. That is not a sin. <laughs> I worry, Father Anon. I worry. My homebrew has spiralled out of control. Is that not what homebrews are supposed to do? Yeah. Almost, it feels like. After a year of development, I'm only now finalising the basic concepts. And after so long, I struggle to remember the plot of the campaign designed to go along with it. My friends wait expectantly for me to deliver what, in their eyes, I parade as my best work in years, when, in actuality, it's still a mess after all this time. I worry I'm worrying too much. I worry I'll disappoint them. I worry I'll disappoint myself. I worry. It's okay. It's fine. No, don't don't beat yourself up over that. Like, you know, it, it is very hard to clean. I couldn't do it. Why don't you get a second opinion on no, no, it? Why don't you get somebody... Who like a close friend or whoever to read over it with you and see it, like well, what there works, what doesn't. Games, like you know, sometimes you do need some if, like someone else. Yeah, because something that you might think is oh this is brilliant, and then if you get another opinion on it, they're like well yeah no it's good, but why don't you do this or why don't you do that just to switch it up? Yeah, a bit. But you know you've been working on it for so long, and everybody's hyped up for it. I would. I think they'll have fun I no matter what. Fun, yeah. Sometimes it's you know, but again, if this is delaying a game, just 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 play one of the pre-made games. Yeah. I'm currently playing Philos of the uh, Lime of the Philos meeting, and I'm really enjoying it. Yeah. So like you know, if this is like stopping you from like playing don't your beat games, don't yourself over it. No, I, I no, it's not a sin. Not a sin. I intentionally try and insert my fetishes wherever I can into my games. Garbo. Sin. 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 <laughs> Straight away, sin. Yeah, sin. You are not forgiven, my no. child. The longer I DM, the less and less game prep I do. The last game prep I did was the final boss fight of a three-year campaign against an evil wizard. I didn't even give him HP. I mean, does that not just happen to all DMs? Yeah, they're like, I find it's like uh, until I'll be like, oh, yeah, he's nearly done. Just yeah, <laughs> yeah. But you know what I mean? Like, most DMs, ah, fuck, we'll just wing it, sure, and see yeah. what happens. I've kind of got a basic idea of what I want to do. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we'll just try and steer them in this direction, and we'll call it a day. <laughs> I'm going to be running a Mutants and Masterminds game soon, and I'm paralyzed when it comes to figuring out the story. <laughs> Honestly, just copy Avengers. <laughs> yeah, like, like, you know, come on, guys, let's just do it. The one game I feel most excited running in the future is Thirsty Sword Lesbians. I'm not going to Google that. I don't um, want to Google but it. But I'm going to say that's a I'm, sin. Uh, yeah, and I'm also going to guess. Megan, get the bell. Get the bell. Just get the fucking bell. I'm also going to guess a lot of you boys in the comments know what that is. <laughs> yeah. 
I fantasized about having sex and cuddling with one of my characters on more than one occasion. I mean, at least he's putting cuddling on. <laughs> I mean, like, if that yeah, counts for anything. Does that make anything, it better? Well, like, maybe, I don't know. Sex and cuddling? Well, like, at least he's putting in, like, a form of affection. <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe it's it's not just pure cummer lust. Like, you know, um, yeah, it's not great, but... I'll give him points. Oh, this makes it worse. Why? What's he saying? I feel bad about it because she's like a daughter to me. Oh, uh, no. Okay. No as I, I take spe- back everything I said. Uh, as I spent a lot of time creating her. But she's also a thinly veiled amalgamation of all my tastes. I worry about having a player or a GM point this out to me if I get the opportunity to play as her in a game that doesn't die during the first session, sometimes before. I'm considering including her as a recurring NPC in the future game I plan on running, just so I can have the opportunity to explore her character. In what sense of the word? Is <laughs> yeah. exploring her are we, character? Are we going to explore her? I think you've already <laughs> like, explored like, her. Like, like you know, are, are we going to be exploring her asshole or what here? You know what I mean? Like you know, that's a, that's a little question. Take it to brown time. <laughs> hey guys, do you like models in your tabletop role-playing games? Cause we do too. Do you like having big bitty wifeys on your table? Because we do too. <laughs> <laughs> we got human bitties. We got lizard bitties. We got orc bitties. Oni bitties. Cat bussies. We've got everything you want at neckbeardia.co.uk. <laughs> Check the links down below. It helps us out a lot. Sorry for interrupting the video. Let's get on the story. I have a desire to include furry races in my games. This degeneracy is kept in check by my players who dislike fur faggotry. Without them, I would be lost. Good group. Good group. Good, good group. players. Good not on you. Good, good players. Yeah. It's not often we get to say that on this channel. Yeah. <laughs> but good on you guys. I DM for a rather large group of people. Seven. Four guys, three women. How did you get so many girls? I mean, like, you know, normally it's only the one token girl. Yeah. Normally it's me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have played tabletop games since 1992. Well, that's a good going. Not bad. That's older than uh, yeah, me and Megan being good. alive, so get on you guys. One of my guy players was simping hard for a girl 20 years younger than him. We're in our 40s. She's 19. IRL is us. Yeah. Um, Wait, how the, how the fuck did a pack of grog nerds? Uh, yeah, how did a fucking pack of 40 year old <laughs> Man, get nerds man, get man, 19 year old girl. women at the table? That don't make sense. You don't get that 19 year old magic, pintang. <laughs> magic. <laughs> yeah. He's a little bit of a spurg lord. He's not a bad guy, like he can work and socialise and shit, but he's been a lifelong bachelor and the closest he's gotten to losing his virginity was when he blew his wad in the lap <laughs> in his lap when we took him to a strip club and bought him a birthday lap dance. Oh that's fuck, that's, that's sad. That's bad man. talk, man. Like I, I also I no, I can't actually blame the guy for simping a bit. I can't blame him. Cause like, you know, being forty. Like don't like guys guys, look. There's nothing wrong with being a virgin. Yeah, no, that's fine. It's nothing fine. wrong with being a virgin at all. And do ne- never feel pressured into doing it or whatever. But maybe do it before you're 40. Yeah. <laughs> or at least try. <laughs> I mean, I would say you're messing out because, you know, the women are only going to get older and, like, you know, you don't have the money to yeah. fucking... <laughs> and they're not going to want to do mad shit whenever they're that age because their back's going to hurt too much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so uh, if you don't don't get in there, like, we, come on, let's go. Let's, <laughs> like, sorry about this, guys. Let's just keep going this. <laughs> I once kicked him from my table for three months because he put a slice of pizza on one of my rule books. Fucker, uh, the plates were right there. Yeah, honestly, I'm okay with no that. See, thanks. No thanks. No. See, when people put food or like, I, I don't know, even whenever people just like put like, see drinks into like tins for me, like, you know, like t- cans of Coke. Yeah. Like, even though it doesn't leak through. I just... I don't like I, it. I don't like it. Back. I know. No, just, just look, respect all the people's property. You know what I mean? Little on the spark side, but an okay guy. Simped hard for this girl, who's pretty hot. Brought her to our group to sit in on our sessions. I ended up fucking her. He doesn't know I'm fucking her. <laughs> oh, bro! Oh, man! <laughs> oh! Give the, give the poor boy a chance. He could have at least, like, wingman for him and be like... Yeah, no, like, you that. know, like, he, it sounds like he needs it more than you. Yeah. You know. Fuck me. Poor fella. Is this a sin? I don't know. Honestly. I don't know if it's a sin or if it's more. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> that's cold. That's cold. Yeah, I've done an ERP, not at a tabletop, of course, not with my friends or anyone I know. Let's just say this was a kinky online game, and while I had a good time, 
the post not regret hit hard. <laughs> I no longer wish to be horny. Never, Never again. again. <laughs> sin. Don't <laughs> RP guys. <laughs> sin. Pure sin. I know it's hip and all to be into goblin girls, but I just don't think I can really do it. Goblin men, however. Oh, a true man of culture. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I love this wee picture. Give gobble daddy. <laughs> <laughs> You're just wee nipple person. <laughs> I've left several RPG groups within the span of weeks. I like to pretend they all had f- real flaws, but truth be told, I probably don't understand what role playing is anymore. I feel like an alien. And unless I want to be an LOL random critical role fan or join groups that write pages and pages but maybe only one line is an actual interaction, the era of tabletop I loved is long gone. Yeah. Uh, well, it's more like, a, like if you well, can find the people I, I to can't, play with. I can't say much. I haven't been playing it for overly long. So yeah. I, 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 I'm sure it's different for people who've been playing it for like fucking years. Yeah. Something. Honestly, what has critical goal done? Like, it's not even that bad, Critical Role. Like, it's really not as bad as what people make it out to be. It's, the it's just the fans just seem to, Jesus fuck, guys, can oh, you just I calm down? The fans. Like, it's not that bad. I've, I've, I've given it, like, people have said, like, okay, I Thank hate God to be. you guys are, like, semi cool. <laughs> yeah, you guys are cool. <laughs> I like you guys. You guys are cool. I've tried to give Critical Role a go. A lot of people have got commented to me and been like, yeah. look, honestly, I've watched, give it a go. I've Try it out. See me make of it. I watched the first one and. I think I, I got watched... about. 10 minutes in yeah and I had to give up it, I just don't think it's for me personally no. I don't think it's my it's no. like it's not my taste it's not my sort of thing and the problem is a lot like, not you know, saying you shouldn't watch him or you shouldn't be a fan of him but like uh, yeah it's, it's like it's not personally for not, us yeah it's not you know uh, it's meant for a different demographic he gets demo on like it's blue clues <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tell me, doesn't though. Yeah, actually, no, you mentioned it. Like it's blues clues. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, it does give me that vibe now. I joined a group in the hopes of getting together with a cute nerd girlfriend. Uh, she seemed interested, and we talked for a while in between sessions. I really enjoyed playing my character, and was feeling pretty good about the whole situation. Found out from a friend that she was talking to another guy. Shit sucks, but at least I love my PC, so I keep playing. She got led on for a month by this other guy, then he ghosted her. So I confessed to her and she said she only saw me as a friend. Now it feels like every session is an obligation and I just want to leave. I'm talking with my DM about an exit, an exit strategy. Yeah, get the fuck out. Yeah. You got in for the long le- reasons to be yeah, in with. Yeah, you um, should just get in for a game and then if you end up talking to somebody then you know that's nice great. it works out well you know if it worked out well it works yeah. out well like you know you didn't... I, but I can't I can understand people maybe going in looking in for relationships I, yeah sure. I could I, I could it. I can get it but like I don't know I just don't think that's a great way to go about it yeah Playing and only... in my experience most of the girls that play D&D or just not D&D just tabletop in general are either there with their partners yeah or the big fucking teases that love the attention. Yes. That I've came across that a couple of times. Yeah. Where it's they're either, girls they're, that, they're either playing with their partners and just having like a fun thing to do as a couple. Yeah. Or they're there as complete cocktails and they have nothing they, they, they don't want to give you nothing. Yeah. And they, ju- just they just love the attention. Yeah. yeah. They love yeah, they love the attention of oh my god, I'm a girl. I'm of course tabletop. that's not all girls, you know. No. But let's be honest, I would say maybe twenty percent. 10, 10, 15, 20%. Yeah. All I can say is, thank fuck you're a girl, Megan. Otherwise, we'd be getting cancelled for not respecting all women. Yeah, well, I don't like girls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair, true, good point. Yeah. Forgive me, Father, but I'm about to do something I swore I'd never do. I'm about to wreck a game plot to put a meta gaming DM in his place. Honestly, do it. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, probably. I'm tired of him trying to strong arm me into playing my character the way he thinks he should be played. I'm taking things that I've told him in confidence and use them in game against me. And I can no longer let this slide. May the other players forgive me. Maybe they might. They probably should yeah. forgive you. Honestly, the people didn't seem to him. It depends. Seem to them. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm never a fan of. I hate. I, like one of the big ones I always come across is like, oh, this is what my character would do. You know, like justifying bullshit. Yeah. But again, it's the same thing with the DM saying like, no, your character wouldn't do that. Uh, play the right way. Play, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, no, fuck off. Yeah. You know what I mean? Let me play um, the way I want to play. Okay, my job's to put the character in. 
um, we'll see how this character interacts with the world around them, yeah. you know? Yeah. And look, there's a lot of elements of play, but just, I don't know, there's not much worse than turning around and being like, well, you're actually wrong, so uh, go fuck yourself. How does that, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. oh. I want to fuck Garbro. <laughs> Put it back in your pants, James. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You hold up there, all right? <laughs> so, to finish off, I th- feel like I'm going to put in my own confession. I don't think this is really a confession, but I thought it was really funny. I saw it the other day, and I saved it, and I thought, you know what, this would be a perfect opportunity to put this into a video, so here we go. So, I found possibly the earliest form of lizard titties ever cre- created from a lack. I'll post them up on screen. <laughs> Uh, old lizard titties. <laughs> lizard titties may be a thing that has went through time and moral. Yeah. It's older than you and think. you know what? Maybe this is our confession to where, you know, we shit on furries. Oh yeah, now we like still that. continue to But sh- we make profit <laughs> on lizard titties and animal titties. So like, yes! <laughs> yeah, I suppose that is a bit of... Stunks. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, we saw a lot more than just uh, <laughs> yeah. smut models. It is yes, actually there's way more... So there's so many good more. models on it's our just, website. It's very easy to do an advert or like be like, hey guys, look at this lizard with big fat titties. You know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? Like that's an easy that's an easy one to be like, hey guys, look at this. This yeah, is really so fucking bizarre, isn't it? If you have your own confessions, write them down below. Hit subscribe, check out the models, the links, everything like that. Hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we post. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. All those moments lost in time.